I got pink hair. Pink hair. <laughs> I'm like, not in my house, though. Not in my house. I got pink hair. And that wasn't going to happen in my house. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel. If you are new, do hit the subscribe button. So today we are going to talk about my hair colors, like everything about my hair colors, all the questions you guys have been asking me. And I've written all the colors and when I actually did them here. So we are going to be talking about that and I'm going to look down to that. But part i removed my african threading which i did about six days ago so this has been my hair for ages this one is even removed so let's get on with the video oh what was in my head before i decided to bleach because the first thing i did was bleach now i bleached my hair because i wanted a permanent treatment you could say that wouldn't necessarily damage my hair do you get what i mean like i knew i would dye my hair again I had dyed hair. Half of my hair was brown and half was black. So basically, I didn't want to do like a box dye treatment or anything that could eventually damage my hair. I wanted to bleach my hair so that this is available on Concretary, link in the description. I wanted to bleach my hair so that I can use a semi permanent and then permanent color which wouldn't damage my hair and that color will fade over time and hence I can put another color in my hair without doing any harsh treatment or any damaging treatment to my hair so that's why I decided to bleach my hair and the colors I'll be using is adult hair color because it's semi permanent or demi permanent and it won't like damage your hair it just goes and like deposits color if that makes sense so the first thing i did was a bleaching process and i bleached my hair i did it myself in the house <laughs> i bleached my hair and yes i was blonde so that evening i decided to do copper brown that's what was going through my head okay this is copper right this is copper i'll put a picture here and this is brown and copper brown is something like this but a dull copper brown is more of a reddish tone which i didn't know so in my head i'm going to get copper brown but then also i wanted a lighter more you know a little bit vibrant vibe so i wanted to add cinnamon to add the ginger vibe to it so oh my goodness it was just something else so i mixed a little bit of the cinnamon with the copper brown and i got this color it was orangey reddish orangey kind of vibe and i didn't hate it but that's not what i wanted so i thought to maybe take the ginger vibe out of it i would use just copper brown so that same evening <laughs> that same evening i used copper brown on my head and i got this now it's cute it's nice whatever but that's not what i wanted and at the point in time, I was like, mm, that's okay. I could use it. And as I was, I was like, mm, no, I don't like this. I don't like it. I just don't like it. So I bleached my hair again. But it wasn't like a normal bleach. This one was more of a bleach wash. Bleach wash is basically like you do the bleach mix, bleach developer, and then you add shampoo or conditioner or both. I added both because... I needed that protection and mind you every bleaching thing i did during this whole time i did a protein treatment after because like i'm like we need that protein <laughs> so i did a bleach wash and me thinking i would get something like a brown tone i got pink i got pink hair like I was so shocked because I didn't expect to get pink hair. I was expecting to get like a brown tone or maybe a lighter red tone. Or Okay, pink is kind of like in the red family. But then like, I didn't expect to get pink. Do you get me? So I was like, nah, the pink was so cute. The picture I'm putting on the screen does not do justice to it. The pink was so cute. Like, the pink was cute. The pink was pretty. But again, not in my house. So I got Senna Brown and Honey Brown. Yes. So I mixed a little bit of the Honey Brown with the Senna Brown. And then I got 
this really nice wine color which i think i used to do the video where i did the two space buns so my hair was looking red you was asking me like why is my hair looking red you thought i had blonde hair blah 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 so yeah that's why my hair was looking red so that faded into this wine brown color and then it fell into this brownish wine color again like that was lighter and it seems like that one had a tint of brown and it was a very light wine but the first one was more of a brown and had a lot of wine tints like pictures on the screen <laughs> that faded into this blondish brown color the the roots my roots were blonde and then the top was like a brown that is getting to blonde i didn't i didn't know what was doing there but then my roots always fade faster oh my god my hair feels so moisturized so what i do next so i was kind of like tired of the light color i had a light color for like one week or two weeks or so and i was kind of like bye bye so i ordered for mahogany which was also in the brown range for adult hair color and mahogany is even before medium brown so it also has like a red tint to it so instead of me just using that alone i decided to mix it some of the, with some of the colors i already had and that gave me this wineish color that i or burgundy I, I don't know what color that is what color do you guys think it is i i don't know so let me just get off the screen and here it is so i did this comparison one month later and so that's it <laughs> so then it faded to the brown that was by it and that's one month's difference mind you i wash my hair every week so that's like one month's different, sure. One month's different, and it faded to dark brown. So when it faded to dark brown, no, 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 wait, I skipped something. I did skip something. When I had the mahogany, the reddish wine, brownish color that I just saw with a comparison of the brown, it faded to after a month. When I had the mahogany color in my hair, I used the Zabri Natural Shampoo, and that took a lot of the reds out so that's probably why it faded to the brown that you saw the brown that you see here so that's probably why it faded to the brown that you see here and yeah and now we have this color i faded to this color it's brown but it's blonde the roots as i said the roots are gets to the blonde side and if you saw the comparison this was brown but then even in the comparison i had re-dyed my roots like two times during that month so like every two weeks i re-dyed my roots and every two weeks i re-dyed my roots so because the roots were like lightening faster which i didn't want i want them to be the same color and even with lightening the roots you can see that the tips were the same and i didn't touch the tips with any color during that time so <laughs> what else is there to talk about so yeah as you can see it lightened over one month to the brown and i have this color if you want me to do a video where i re dye my hair when i'm kind of like tired of this color comment in the comment section and i'll show you guys how i just put dye my hair for it to deposit color so yeah, the Zap Naturals took the red out of my hair. That's why my hair even became brown. So if that shampoo didn't take the red out of my hair, I'm, I'll, I'll probably have a darker color or a more vibrant color than I have right now. So, yeah. As I said, again, what color is this? This looks like honey brown. Yeah, comment the color you think this is so basically this is where we are now and obviously with semi-permanent and demi-permanent colors you would have to maybe get a shampoo that is like for color treated hair so your hair won't fade as fast as mine did but 
I like it like that so I can experiment and I can have different colors and it's it's nice it's a cute journey and I'm back so basically I'm done combing my hair out so if you have any other more questions about hair color and if I've not answered some of your questions in the video you can comment in the comment section or dm me on instagram because i'll be doing a second video where i talk of what to expect after you color treat your hair because it needs more care more love and how to go color treated hair and how to maintain color treated hair and all that jazz and again you guys tell me what color this is like let me come close what color do you think that is so thank you for watching this video. Hope you come back for more videos. Hit that subscribe button so you join the farm. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. And about 65 of you that watch me are not subscribed. Why aren't you subscribed? <laughs> Do hit that subscribe button. So see you in my next video and have a great day. Bye.